Nervous system structure and function. In this segment of the tutorial, we'll focus on neurons, receiving, transmitting, and sending. Nervous tissues. Nervous tissues, bundles of neuronal processes enclosed in connective tissues that carry signals to and from muscles. Nervous system composition. The information travels from the brain to the spinal cord and then to the nerves which control the body. Electrical impulses carry the information. Information also goes from the body to the brain. Nervous system function. The nervous system coordinates the activities of muscles. Nervous system monitors the organs and signals their activities. It also processes input from the senses and initiates a response. Synapsis and neuron communication. Neurons communicate at the synapse. An action potential can regenerate itself along the neuron. Action potential, synaptic cleft. The potential arrives at the synaptic cleft and releases neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter binds to receptor on the receiving neuron. The binding opens ion channels in the receiving neuron and generates a new action potential. Spinal cord. The spinal cord connects the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. The brain is made up of three parts. The brain stem is the most primitive in the evolutionary chain, important in life support and basic functions such as movement. The cerebellum consists of two hemispheres and integrates the sensory perception and motor output. Four brain, the most advanced in evolutionary terms, important for learning ability and creativity. Sensory processes. Three types of neurons. One, sensory neurons send impulses toward the CNS away from the peripheral system. Two, interneurons, the neurons lie entirely within the CNS. And three, motor neurons carry these nerve signal cell impulses from the CNS to the cells in the peripheral system. Sensory receptors. Mechanical and chemical receptors detect temperature and pressure. They also detect muscle contraction and blood pressure. They're responsible for sensing taste, smell, and body position. Auditory receptors are responsible for detecting pressure waves in the air. Optic receptors detect light over a broad range of wavelengths. In neurons, what is the signal? What form does a stimulus signal take in a neuron? A stimulus signal exists as a potential charge across the plasma membrane. Question, nervous system. What form does the signal from the brain to peripheral tissues take? The signal is electrical, which comes from an electrical potential that exists between the inside and the outside of a cell. Neurons and the nervous system. The nervous system is made up of cells called neurons. Neurons communicate by chemical and electrical synapses. The communication is a process called synaptic transmission. Communication occurs at the synapses. Neuron structure. The neuron is specialized for receiving, transmitting, and sending signals. 
it consists of a cell body and dendrites. It also has the usual structures like a nucleus, a mitochondria, and so forth that a cell needs for life. It has an axon and a terminal section. It has neural transmitters. Receiving impulses. A neuron receives electrical impulses from other neurons at its dendrites, cell structures that receive signals for the neuron. Transmitting impulses. Axon. The axon is a long tube structure of the cell that transmits the signal down the cell, shooting it from the receiving end to the sending end of the neuron. Myelin sheath. The axon is wrapped in fat called myelin to speed up electrical conductivity. Nodes of Ranvier. The electrical signal jumps from one of these gaps in the myelin to the next. Sending impulses. Synapsis, the empty space between one neuron and the next. Terminal branches, at the end of the neuron, they pass the signal on to the next neuron. Neurotransmitter, when the impulses arrive from the axon, the branches release these particles into the synapsis to pass the data on to the next neuron's dendrites.